Hello, everybody. This is Kimberly Smith. I am the District Sales Manager for Celebrity Cruises, and I'm here today with the Cruise Web. We have some exciting news to share with you about Celebrity Cruises, and I want to get rocking and rolling so I can share all this exciting news. Today we're going to talk about new luxury. We're saying new luxury is waiting. We're going to talk about this new program as well as a brand new pricing program that ties along nicely. But first, I want to stop and take a moment to share with you a very exciting uh, small little video here about the Celebrity Apex. This is actually um, some images from when the Celebrity Apex came for the very first time to the United States. We are so excited. The Celebrity Apex, um, unfortunately, was stuck over in Europe uh, during the pandemic, and she hasn't even had any passengers on, her sh on the ship yet. Can you imagine spending $1 billion for a ship and not having anybody sail on her? So we are more than excited to share the Celebrity Apex with all of you. She will be the first ship that will come into deployment once we have the okay and the go ahead to come on back into service. And this was actually a small little snippet video from Captain Kate. And Captain Kate shared this video of all the other ships, the celebrity fleet, welcoming her into the family. This was done in the um, off the coast of Miami waters and we were so excited to bring her here. And hey, if you guys uh, are familiar with Captain Kate, she's been the captain of uh, many different ships, most recently the Celebrity Edge. Um, definitely like her on Facebook or join her fan club because boy, does she have a lot of fun, interesting facts and tips and she's always a hoot to watch. So one of my tips of the day, you wanna make sure that you check her out. So we have the Apex coming in. And I know probably one of the biggest questions that everybody has on their mind is, oh my gosh, when are we getting back into the water? What are the new protocols going to be? What's going on? So at Celebrity, what we've done is we've um, really assembled a panel, a panel of experts, top medical and scientific experts um, in their industry under the leadership of Dr. Calvin Johnson. He's uh, chaired this group of unbelievable individuals up and really, what they've done is come up with five different pillars. If you notice on the top, they'll talk about prevention, mitigation, destinations, mobilization, and validation. So these are sort of our five pillars. We have um, now since turned in our recommendations to the CDC. There's only 74 pages uh, to read. <laughs> so if you all wanna do that, you're more than welcome to. And we're waiting for a final approval from the CDC. But in the meantime, the CDC has told us we need to um, do these clinical trials. So really test runs, if you will. But the good news is we're starting to load the um, crew on the Apex and get these ships up and running. You know, it's funny, uh, our chairman and CEO, Richard Fain, had said, you know, it's not like you can just go turn on, you know, walk back into the office, turn on the lights and say, okay, we're ready to go. When you're dealing with a cruise ship, of course, we've got a lot of things to accomplish. And really, we want to make sure that the staff is trained appropriately. We want to make sure that those, those ships are in tip-top shape before we welcome all of you and all of our guests back on board. So we've got our work ahead of us. And don't worry, soon we will be announcing those, these protocols. And we will also be really walking you through what dates we expect that we're going to be running and starting service again because, guys, we have to do this ship by ship and slowly coming on back and getting the CDC approval on each and every ship. So we will start with the APEX and we expect to start this, um, these clinical trials very soon in the next few weeks. And then we will be back up and running um, as soon as we can. So stay tuned on that. Stay in touch with your cruise web travel consultant because they're really gonna be your key source of information and keeping you updated. But you know, there's nothing to really worry about because quite honestly, you can go ahead and start planning your vacations. And I don't know about you, but I always like to have something on the books to be able to look forward to. I'm booked on a March cruise and boy, I am looking forward to getting out there and really experiencing cruising again, because I certainly do miss it. So we're talking about today, a little bit new kind of a luxury. Celebrity has always been in the category previously as a premium brand. And we sort of categorized ourselves in this in this area. But really over time, sort of the placement of where, what categories each cruise line sort of falls into has gotten a little blurry, quite honestly. 
And here at Celebrity, we're moving ourselves into a new category, and we're calling it new luxury. We feel that we, with our new hardware of the Edge and the Apex and the Retreat, as well as our new ship Flora that came out last year in the Galapagos Islands, we truly have a more luxurious product than ever before. And we do now compare to some of those smaller ships like Oceania, as well as Azamara, Canard, Seaborn. And we're going to, I'm going to show you some slides here today and really sort of convince you that, you know, luxury cruising is not just for those small ships. We have a beautiful 2,900 passenger edge and apex that just came out. And I think you're going to see um, uh, with good reason why we're, we're calling ourselves new luxury now. So a definition of new luxury, and I love this because new luxury is simplified approach to travel that emphasizes culinary exploration, holistic wellness, and cultural discovery and design to allow travelers to become more open, more curious, and more fulfilled. And that, my friends, is only available on Celebrity Cruises. So let's look at really what old luxury is versus new luxury. So I talked about some of the other cruise lines, if you will. Let's use Crystal for an example. Crystal has on average 108 suites. And their average size is 549 square feet. Well, let's take a look over just the, even at our Edge class series. We have 176 suites, and an average size of our suites are 902 square feet. Now that's pretty cool. That's new space, new options, new luxury, and we're going to tell our story. And one of the reasons we're here today is to tell our story to you. So. Again, we were talking about the misconceptions. Earlier I said, you know, oh, luxury is only on those small ships, or luxury is all included. Luxury is only for, you know, and maybe not luxury enough for the large ships. It's just those small ships. Or luxury isn't really immersive. Basically, guys, we're going to shatter all of those misconceptions. We're going to break through the luxury glass ceiling, if you will. So let's address the luxury small, guys. One thing I want you to think of, well, first of all, we have Flora. Flora is only 100 passengers. She's in the Galapagos Islands, and she by far is the most luxurious ship in the Galapagos Islands. She is all sweet. So right there, that's pretty darn luxurious. And let's think about other things that we have on board that make your, your experience on Celebrity even that much better. So the little guys don't necessarily have the spas, the fitness centers that wellness area, the high-end shops. We've got Cartier, Tiffany. How about the entertainment, um, full production shows? You're not gonna get that really on a small ship. So while you might think a luxury is just some of those small ships, but you know what? I sort of challenge you because really after dinner on those small ships, there's not a lot to do. And if you wanna to go to bed at nine o'clock every night on your vacation, well, you go right ahead. Well, we have a lot more to offer and we think this new luxury is gonna be a way for you to go. And one of the things we needed to accomplish is luxury is all included. Well, guys, I'm here to tell you today that part of our new pricing program is to give you um, our new strategy, which is always included pricing. Yes, my friends, you're going to have drinks, you're gonna have Wi-Fi, you're gonna have tips, and so many more options. So stay tuned and we'll give you some more information. Let's just rock through this. But I do want to remind you of some really cool things. Good things come in large packages. Not always small packages, my friends, but good things come in all packages. Let's talk about the new luxury, glamping. How about glamping? Have you heard about that? It's glamour camping, if you will. Glamping is now on Celebrity Flora. How about sleeping underneath the stars in your own private tent? How cool would that be? The iconic suite on the retreat. Uh, in the retreat category, unbelievable 2,500 square feet of unbelievable gorgeousness. Gorgeousness, is that even a word? Heck, I don't even know, but we're gonna keep going. And the Grand Plaza on the Edge Series, guys, it rivals any luxury hotel. It is, the design of these ships are absolutely unbelievable. They've done a great job. But let's go back to the good old Flora for a second. Now, Flora is, as I said, the most luxurious ship in the Galapagos Islands. You're looking on the left-hand side, image of those yin and yang suites, ceiling to floor windows, unbelievable. And guys, we are the most environmentally sound cruise line in the Galapagos. Yes, there's an anchor of this system, so we don't mess with the ecosystem. It is unbelievable, and I could go on and on and on giving you more 
and more information. But one thing I want you to take away is take a look at this all sweet vessel. If you ever have dreamt about going to the Galapagos Islands, Celebrity Flora is going to be for you. Now let's talk about the retreat. So I want you to think about an umbrella. And we're calling the umbrella the retreat. Underneath that umbrella are all of our suites on our celebrity ships. And this encompasses not only the Edge series, we're talking about our Solstice class ships, our Millennium class ships. Our entire fleet has the retreat on all of them. And what it is, friends, is all suites, all inclusive, all exclusive, and all included. And when it comes to new luxury, more is more. Now, you're going to hear me say this a lot during this presentation. I love this. New luxury, more is more. I agree. Let's look at some of the features of the retreat. Whenever you book a suite within the retreat, you're going to have exclusive access to an outdoor sun deck. Look at this. Spacious, lounge area, plush furniture. You have pool butlers that are waiting on you hand and foot. We call it intuitive hospitality. We know what you want about five minutes before you even knew that you wanted it. We do a great job, and it's a lot of fun. And again, guys, this outdoor space really does rival any high-end resort. They've done a fantastic job. And then let's look at the interior space, exclusive just for the retreat guests. Again, anyone in one of our suites. This is awesome. Gourmet Bites. It's open 24-7. You have a concierge in there who will help you with anything you need, whether you want to book a shore excursion, have some suggestions on a local restaurant, anything you need. They are there at your beck and call, and it's a great place to just really unwind and unwind in style. And then one of my favorite, and this image I absolutely love. Guys, this is one of the most beautiful restaurants. It's called Lumine. Lumine is our private restaurant for our sweet guests for our guests to retreat. So every day you can go here for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and every day it's one of a kind. It is a unbelievable menu, and I have to say thanks to Danielle Balud, who is our award-winning uh, chef, our ambassador, if you will, who's really consulted with us and who has done an amazing job creating new fun, exciting, and absolutely delicious menu. So thank you, Daniel. Now I want to take you on a little bit of a journey and show you a couple of the unbelievable rooms. Let's look at the Edge Class series. That would include Celebrity Edge and Celebrity Apex. This is the iconic suite. This is only a little snippet of the living room. It's 2,500 square feet, people. That's indoor and outdoor space combined. You have your own private jacuzzi. You have uh, lounge areas out on your uh, veranda. Your veranda is 689 square feet of that 2,500 square feet. Two bedrooms, two bathrooms. I think everyone would agree that we can be pretty comfortable in this room. Oh, one of my favorites, the Edge Class Villas. Ooh, two stories. That bedroom upstairs has a bed that faces the beautiful ocean. So every day you're going to look out those ceiling to floor windows and you're going to be able to see that sunrise. Oh, unbelievable. I don't think I would ever shut my drapes if I were able to stay here. Wonderful. One bedroom, two bathrooms. It will sleep up to four guests. So bring some friends if you like. And then on all of our ships, as I mentioned, we have the retreat and our celebrity reflection. Just so, again, showing you how families can travel together and have all the space that they need. And there's their butler. How fun is that? I think I need a butler. Better get one of those. <laughs> then I'll show you just some other quick pictures of our penthouse. They did an amazing job with all of when we put our ships through our celebrity revolution, where we take our maybe a little bit older ships and we are redoing all of them to have that look and feel of the newest Celebrity Edge series of ships. We hired the same designer, Kelly Hoppin. She's done an amazing job. She's from the UK of really bringing that modern contemporary but beautiful tones to each of the each of the suites. Let's take a look at a celebrity suite for an example. This again is on the Celebrity Millennium, and they've done a great job of redoing and really uh, sprucing it up. So let's go through a little comparison. So when we were talking about luxury, of course, more is more. I'm going to say it again. I just wanted to give you a little comparison. Those ships that are under 300 passengers versus those ships over 300 passengers, and then of course, an all-inclusive hotel. 
And look at what we do. We have personal butler and concierge service. Guys, we got a check plus. We got a butler in every suite. Not everybody can say that. Look at the multiple dining venues. We have an exclusive restaurant called Luminae, but we also have other specialty dining options for the guests. And on your higher suite, higher end, you're going to your penthouse and your iconic suite and your reflection suite. You're going to be able to have those specialty dining options included, which is great. And then, of course, entertainment and enrichment. Multiple production shows, nightly entertainment, live music, world-class artists, more and more and more. So those small ships don't necessarily have everything that you're looking for because we are calling ourselves that new luxury, more is more, and we're giving ourselves some extra pluses there. Ah, let's take a look at just some images. This is our beautiful spa with our holistic wellness. Take a look at that. That's on our Edge series. Ooh, other things we can do. How about going to the casino? I don't know about you, but I make my nightly donation to the cruise line in the casino. <laughs> and then our theaters. How fun is this? Guys, this is totally a new spin on that traditional Broadway-style theater. Look at that screen. Look at that stage. It's like almost like theater in the round, if you will. It is unbelievable. It's a very immersive experience. You'll love the entertainment on board. All right, some of the new messaging that you might be seeing. We're going to be coming out and advertising. I wanted to give you a little bit of a sneak peek. So when it comes to luxury, more is more. You know that's my favorite one. Our VP, she says her favorite. She says, you're not in bed by 9 p.m. Why should your cruise be? Exactly. Why should your cruise be? More space, more options, more luxury. Good things come in all packages, not just small packages, folks, but all packages. I love this. So we'll watch for our commercials. You'll probably start seeing some promotions as we're just now introducing this. And guys, what ties everything in is this new pricing program. It's called Always Included. Always Included. Vacation should be effortless from the start. That's why every celebrity cruise includes drinks, Wi-Fi, and tips. Always. It's that simple. So that's our messaging moving forward. So let me just give you a little explanation. So you can go out and buy an iPhone, if you will. And when iPhones came out, the iPhone SE was sort of the, the cool new phone to buy, right? But over time, things have progressed and things have changed. Now you got the Mac Daddy of phones, that iPhone 12 is the really cool new hip thing to do. It's got a gazillion cameras, it's simple, it's clear, it's familiar. So we've sort of done the same thing. And we wanted to take it take you on a journey of what all included is. So all guests, always included. It actually is beginning on 11-17. So let's take a look at this. Always included. You got your tips, you have your surfing Wi-Fi, and your classic drink package. So folks, if you wanted to book even an interior stateroom, you could choose any of these packages in front of you, but you always are going to start with always included. So if you call your cruise web agent tomorrow and say, hey, I want to book a cruise and I want to go to the Caribbean um, and I want to book a beautiful aqua class stateroom or a balcony stateroom and they start with the base pricing, it's always going to be included. Your tips, your Wi-Fi surf, and your classic drink package. Now, if you'd like to elevate that experience for just $30 per person per day more, we're going to elevate that experience. We're going to give you the tips. We're going to give you the Wi-Fi surf, and we're going to give you the drinks, but it, now we're going to give you a premium beverage package. And then we're going to throw in a shore excursion credit. That shore excursion credit on, let's say, a seven-night cruise is going to be $150 per person. That's a pretty good deal. Now, let's say, you know what? I want to indulge. I want to have everything. I don't want to think about anything on my cruise. I'm going to indulge. Why not? I haven't been on vacation in over a year. I want to go and I want to go big. Well, we're going to sell you the indulge package. You're going to have your tips, your Wi-Fi streaming, a little bit different, and I'll come back to that. You're going to have the premium drink package, as well as you're going to have that onboard shore excursion and now an onboard credit. So if you combine that shore excursion credit with your onboard credit, it's now a total of $300 per person to be able to spend on the cruise. How fabulous is that? So guys, as you see, you've got your options. 
They always included the Elevate and the Indulge. I think these are great options. And going forward, this are, these are going to be your choices that your agents are going to present to you. Now, I don't know about you, but I like to indulge. Now, let's just address the differences with the Wi-Fi, because I think that's something that we definitely need to talk about. So, what is surfing? Surfing is, hey, I want to get on Facebook, and I want to see what's going on back home. I want to text my friends. That's surfing, if you will. If I want to stream, if I want to FaceTime somebody, or I wanted to download maybe a Netflix movie, I need to stream that. That's really the main difference. Uh, between surfing the internet and streaming the internet. And the other thing I just want to make sure that you realize, um, that's going to be with two devices per state room. So while everybody in the state room where it says all guests always included, you're going to have all of this, all of the tips and the, and the different amenities such as like the three package, those are always going to be included. And then of course you'll have up to two devices for the Wi-Fi. So hopefully that makes sense to you. And then I want to remind you that the retreat that we talked about earlier, that's all of our suites, remember, you're going to experience even more. You're going to have that indulged package comes with every single suite accommodation, which remember, you have that private restaurant called Lumine, the exclusive lounge, the private sun deck, the butlers, the attendants, the concierge, plus so, so much more. So you're going to get all of that in every time you want to go into the retreat, which again, I'll remind you, is all of our suites. How great is that? So that's a really quick overview of really what we're doing here at Celebrity, sort of an update on what's happening with all of our protocols. And trust me, as soon as we know more, we're going to be here. We're going to be talking to you and really giving you updates. But the person that you really need to talk to is your cruise web travel consultant. Guys, these guys have been in business for 25 years. They are the experts. I adore the cruise web. They are a fabulous partner with Celebrity. And that's one of the reasons I'm doing this presentation here today. So let's go to some questions and answers. I do see some questions coming in the box. And Tanya is talking about shore excursions. And she was curious if shore excursions are going to change the size as we see cruising in the future? Hey, Tanya, great question. And you know, one thing I didn't mention today, and I, I'm remiss, I should have, one thing that we're gonna be really promoting to all of our guests is our private journeys. Private journeys are sure excursions, but they are private, if you will. So let's say you had a traveling party of like maybe four or six um, guests in, within your traveling party. And you wanted to do a private journey, a private excursion into uh, one of the great destinations that we're going to take you around the world, if you will. So this is great because you can work with your travel consultant. They'll hook you up and, and as far as contacting our private journeys, and they'll customize whatever you want to do. I love private journeys because, and I've experienced this in the past, because I was in Europe and I went to the Amalfi Coast. And we had about, I want to say there's six or seven of us and um, in our group, and it was a bunch of friends. And we decided we didn't want to do that big mass shore excursion with, you know, 55 of our closest friends. We wanted to do something a little more private and wanted to be able to stop and do what we needed to do. Guys, we had the most incredible driver who did everything we wanted to do. He was fantastic. We, he even took us to his uncle's restaurant for lunch. I don't think I've eaten so much food in my entire life. I can still taste the Italian, the real Italian food. It was unbelievable. We'd be driving along and he'd say, somebody would say, hey, let's stop at that little stand over there and, and get some fresh lemon. Okay, whatever we wanted to do. They did an amazing job. And it really does, um, it, it's worth it, in my opinion. Does it cost more? Absolutely. But guys, those private journeys, really give you that exclusive experience that many of us are really looking for when we go into court. Um, but now, if that's not for you, certainly we have amazing shore excursions to choose from. And remember, if you're picking that Elevate or that Indulge package, you do get that shore excursion credit, which I think is going to be more and more important as we return to the water. So keep that in mind. So, hey, thanks, Tanya. That was a really, really good question. 
So let's see, Shelly says, if I'm currently booked on a trip, can I change my booking to this all, always included program? Oh, yes. Okay, so Shelly, thanks for your question. Yes, so let's say you're already, you are already booked on a vacation and as long as you have not made your final payment yet, then yes, we will allow you to take advantage of this always included elevate or indulge pro program. Um, but the trick though, guys, is it's at prevailing rates. So you would be in a new rate category and I would highly recommend talk to your travel professional at the cruise web and they're going to price out what it would be today. I can almost guarantee you that based on when you booked it, you might have booked it a year ago, two years ago, whatever it happens to be, you might want to just stick with the program that you currently have, but your travel consultant will go ahead and do that comparison for you to really give you a better idea of what is, you know, if it's worth it or not for you. So that's fantastic. And then Jim, I see Jim, Jim did ask the question about the differences between the surf and the stream. And I think I did address that, Jim, and hopefully you understand. If not, certainly reach out to your agent and they can give you more information. But remember that surfing, if you're surfing the internet, you're just really looking and browsing the internet, if you will. Let's say I want to, you know, look on Instagram or I want to look on Facebook or I want to even make a post and show how the people how fabulous of a time I'm having here in the Galapagos or you know, around the world. Remember, we visit all seven continents. Our ships are going to be sailing around. We'll be back to sailing around the world, I should say, very soon, hopefully sooner than later. And, you know, we're all looking forward to that. But yes, so the surfing and the streaming. And then, of course, if you, like, if you're on, if you were going on our ships and you needed to do business, conduct business on board, I would definitely say you want to make sure that you're having that streaming versus the surfing. Um, so you would have the better internet connection. And remember, to up to two guests will be able to be able to do that, two devices. So if you wanted to load it on your cell phone and maybe your computer, if you brought a laptop with you or an iPad or whatever you had, or if you had two phones, maybe you and your wife each had um, a device. So you can certainly look at that. And there's all kinds of information that each of the agents can share with you and go over in more detail. So hopefully, guys, I, I know there, if there's other questions, I don't see any more in the box right now, but certainly I encourage you to reach out to your um, Cruise Web Travel Consultant. These guys are the best in their field. They know my product. Um, they should because I talk to them all the time, and these guys are on my ships or were on my ships prior to us coming out of the water. But you know what? At the end of the day, we're really excited to get back into the water, and I think you know, all of you will agree it's been way too long and we're just really looking forward to having you on board, to really treating you to all the wonders of the world. And we look forward to saying, you know, see you on board and, and you know, hey, Butler, where's my cocktail? Because, <laughs> you know, I think we all need one after 2020. So. Thanks for joining us today. This was short and brief, but I just wanted to give you a quick little update on what's going on. And I thank you guys for all of your attention. And hopefully we will see you out to sea soon on a celebrity cruise. Have a great day.